God bless you, God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our sweet Lord Savior, our King and Shepherd. I have a very, very special word from the Lord for you. To bless you and that your life will never be the same. And that you know and get understanding what is the place where you stay. Is that a good place to learn and increase in everything what is in life, what matters for the Lord Jesus, to honor Him, to serve Him, to love Him. And the most powerful teaching is in the room. The most powerful teaching in the room. Listen. The Bible teaches us very, very powerful lessons about men of God in the, in the Bible. And if you're not called, or everybody's called, but not many is chosen, but the, the, we, we, um, if you understand this principle in life, you can succeed, you can serve the Lord Jesus in might and power, and you live, live a victorious life. And you have to learn, you have to sharpen you with the Word of God and get understanding from the Word of God and the principles of God. So you can't uh, this apply in your life and the Word of God can, if you work it out, if you allow the Lord to work this Word out in your life, you will grow in understanding, in strength. Listen. Um, the most powerful teaching is in the room of the prophet. It's in the room of the pro prophet. The, the room of the man of God. Or um, a Holy Spirit filled person in your life. And there are a couple of places in the Bible that um, if we look to Abraham, it's very amazing what the people in his house can do and that that was amazing if we read it in a ch chapter in the genesis we see that the lord um uh, worked mightily to the man in the house from abram and they are learned and educated in the house of abram and not they not outside but in the house it's in the room for abram they know Abraham very close this is amazing and um, the Bible teaches us and learn us about this man they won a war against five kings and kings with an army trained army and um, our, the Abraham is not collect an army there were not men of war and if you know Abraham, he was not a man of war. He don't like to face problems. He get them out of the way. That means he was not a man of war. If we, uh, I want to read it with you. I give you the scriptures. And it's um, in Genesis uh, 14. And uh, with, and uh, the, in first nine, gift, uh, the, uh, five kings. And um, then in verse 13, and there came one that had escaped from the fight. His nephew from Abram was uh, was, was uh, kept and uh, um, and taken away. And there was one of the men he can escape and come to Abram to told him that um, there is a problem with your nephew. Okay, verse 13. And there came one that had escaped and told Abram the Hebrew for he dwelt in the plain of Mabra at the Amorite, the brother of Esau, and the brother of Adnar. And this were our confrontate with Abram. And they went, Abram, here this brother was taken captive, Lot. He armed his trained servants, born in his own house. 318, 318 against five kings. And they come not with 318, they come many, many more. And pursued him to Dan, and they div divided him against them in a, and all his servants by night, and smote them, smote him, and pursued him to Hobart. Listen, and they bring all the goods back, and his lot of, and his brother Lot, the woman and the people, all the things. 
that is very profound if you are trained in a house by a Holy Spirit filled uh, person or you live very close with him and listen they are servants if you serve and uh, that that's a very dick I want to keep it I I want to work first uh, another example then I go deeper um, listen if we read from um, Joshua it's very amazing very amazing what is speaking in Exodus Exodus 23 verse 11 and the Lord spake speak unto Moses face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend and he turned again into the camp but his servant Joshua the son of Nun a young man do, don't depart out of the tabernacle listen Joshua is a mighty became a mighty man of God he became a mighty man of God and he see the life from Moses he see him to get up from bed to bed he see his relationship with God and it's very 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 special that he was also not on the top of the mountain but he came to the mountain and it's uh, where uh, Moses received the 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 word of God on the mountain and he came back and the first person what he saw was Joshua and we see and learn the Bible teaches us that he was a man, mighty man of God and he uh, um, he um, he w there were many wonders and special wonders to the, the, the sun was still in, 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 in the air and don't move many hours it's a many special wonders and also in fight and war he was a very mighty very mighty he lives in the place also by Abraham, self, same principle. Then we read uh, the same thing, and it's very, very uh, good to know. It's it's important. What is your place in life? What Moses, Joshua, he don't he don't only hear, but he see. He can drink with his eyes what is happening we are there the, our eyes are the gates of our spirit the eyes are the gate of the spirit joshua drank the anointing drank the anointing by seeing he see moses speaking with Mo, with god in um exodus 3 3 3 11. it's very if you think about it is uh we the bible teach us that um in deuteronomy 3 3 3 2 8 28 it's that the eye is the ano is it's a fountain it's a fountain it's the well it's you can drink with your eye knowledge and importation from from uh from an anointing very key very key and the spiritual man is the candle that and you you receive it by your eyes um listen about about the bible teach about also men men in the room men in the room very key listen very fairly i say unto you he that believes one me the works that i do shall he do also and greater works shall they do this speaks about jesus to his disciples he, the disciples there were day and night with him and they Jesus gave, gave them the promise and it, it's the same promise for you and I, I we can do greater wonders you see by Moses he, they, he, had, he had mighty mighty wonders and Joshua they even saw and, and maybe more wonders and um and then in that is John 14 verse 12 and and so wherever you shall ask in my name that I will do that the father may be glorified in the son so you be you if you bring it whatsoever you shall ask in my name that's the key yes so ask anything in my name and I will do it 
Jesus speaks in, in John, the, the key, you, if you do what I want, then you're my friend. Then you have a very eye-to-eye, face-to-face, by the word, by the spirit, um, relationship. And that's the same uh, principle what we see by Moses. He speaks with God face-to-face. And he was a mighty man of God. Mighty man of God. And we can do that is that is the principle from 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18. If we have an open face, that means if we have an open heart to God, we gain from glory to glory. We the the face, the, the mirror is the word of God, and through the word of God, the knowledge come became the word in our heart, and the Bible is the mirror. And if we if we set the Lord before us, He mirrors us, He teach us. And then we're in the room in the secret and that's the same pr- principle think about this this powerful i i want to i want to give this um listen this are asian skis how to live in victory but thou when thou prays enter into the closet in the secret yeah that's the same principle if we read in Exodus 3, 3, 11, chapter 33, 11. If Joshua was in the secret by Moses. He see, he see how he behaves, how he talks, how it was his relationship, how it go to happen and how um, Moses lived is very powerful. You this same principle you see back in families the children look and they look they 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 copy they can receive keys to open doors in life listen listen parents listen to my words and please share this message this is very key and powerful to get understanding listen and like my uh, like my message uh, and subscribe my channel please and if you want Please show in my ministry so I can bless and reach out other people with the word of God. Listen, people, I say to this matter, may, uh, I want to say this. Parents, you transform, transform, you transfer, yeah, transfer many keys to your children, even you don't know it. For example, this very powerful very powerful your children around see you and you are that's the principle from the mirror your children are uh, 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 in the house and and the mother is on the phone that's an example but listen it's the if the mother make pictures from herself and take a pose and a way of standing and looking and um, is is looking a little bit sexy that teach the children she don't know it maybe but the children the 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 the, the, the daughter see this and this and key she she see this and she think that is what life is but God teach other ways if you look to Jacob he <laughs> I don't get in this but there you give your daughter and key that she later on if she's 13 14 years old or, or, or younger she make the same pictures and she get the same guys men they love sexy looks if you don't want it don't do it don't allow it for yourself that you have a holy life and don't put pictures on your facebook your children comes and aids they see you on facebook and maybe your older pictures and they see how your behavior and how you want to attract men not all the christians are so but it is an example and key to how to transfer keys in knowledge to your children and they use what your your behavior to live also so they don't know they know and they drink drink all the days what they see you doing thing doing the strange things they is for for them is that normal you are for them that's the principle you are for them the way the true and life that's the principle it's very powerful i teach you think about it pray for it and ask the lord the holy spirit from what 
for keys I transfer to my children and you don't like this very powerful very powerful key that's the that's the ticket the the room teaching very powerful teaching okay I want to round it up now uh, Okay, to bless you and let the Lord give you understanding what that the Lord make it personal for you and already some people know this is my word or this is what I what but the Lord and maybe you don't understand it, you feel something, please pray for it and the Lord will give you understanding and by the word, by revelation, if it is necessary, the Lord will keep you and sign on you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.